All right, this is from Math Pace 1076, and we're going to go to page 30. And this is, I think, one of the hardest pages you probably ever had in math. <laughs> so, um, and I can see why it would be frustrating. They're taking several new concepts and putting them together into some problems that seem rather challenging. I'm actually going to do two of these problems with you on the board, or at least we'll set it up to a point where I think you can finish it, okay? So you stick with me here on page 30. I think the first one, after we go over this, you can do easily. I'll give you a tip in a minute to do number two. But let's talk about three and four, all right? And then uh, actually five and six, I don't think you'll find to be too hard. Let's look at number three. It says 25 more than one-fifth times a number equals 50. All right, you see that there? 25 more than one-fifth times a number equals 50. Now, I always think it's the easiest to start with whatever it says is equals and put that at the end, okay? So equals 50. It says one-fifth times a number so that would be like one-fifth, and I think they like to use x in here. In fact, it says it in directions, use x for the variable. And then it says 25 more than that, okay? So this does not equal this. Now, I have it written that they're equal, but when I read the problem, I realize one-fifth of this number does not equal 50. 20, it's 25 more than one-fifth times the number. So that means I have to add 25 to one-fifth times the number, and then that will equal 50. So now that I have the equation set up, and we did this in an earlier lesson, just getting this far, setting it up. So now let's solve it. So I'm going to draw a line through here, subtract 25 from both sides, that cancels. I get one-fifth x, keep the equals on the line, equals 25. Now again, the temptation is to think, ooh, 25 divided by five is five. The answer must be five. Nope, because x is gonna be a larger number. One-fifth of some large number equals five. So how do we undo, what's the inverse of one-fifth of x? And that is we're going to multiply both sides times 5, okay? Because this will be 5 over 5. Anything divided by itself is 1. So this ends up becoming 1x equals, but I have to multiply this side times 5, okay? So I'm, gonna, I'm not going to give you the answer to that one. You can solve that and finish that one on your own, okay? But we got through the hardest part of that together. Let's look at number 4. 8 more than 1 eighth times a number is 16. Again, I like to write the is 16 first. 1 eighth times a number, but it says that these are not equal. 1 eighth times a number, uh, 8 more than this, okay. 8 more than this equals this. So I need to add 8, you see that? 8 more than 1 eighth of a number is 16. And so then I'm not going to finish this. I'm going to let you, now that we did the hard part, let you draw a line. You'll undo the addition by subtracting 8 from both sides. Okay, and then when you get to that point, we can undo the 1 eighth of x by multiplying both sides by the inverse or the reciprocal of 1 eighth, which is 8. Multiply both sides by 8, okay? And you will get a whole number for that one. Let's look at question number two. <clears throat> a certain number divided by 7, okay, less 2, so take away 2, is 37. So again, the is tells us that 37 comes after the equals. A certain number, we don't know, is being divided by 7. The less 2 means I'm going to take away 2 equals 37. Okay? Draw a line, undo the subtraction. Now you're going to have to add 2 to both sides. And then Remember, the last step here is you're going to multiply in order to cancel this 7. 
And I'll give you a tip, you're going to get a very large number. You're going to have a three digit number for that one, okay? Hopefully number five and six and even number one you won't find to be too hard.